Sometimes we don't realise just how far one light year is. It's an extremely far distance. Let's find out exactly how far it is. First of all, the furthest man-made object that we've ever created, Voyager 1, at 22 million kilometres. That would fit 420 times in one light year. Or perhaps a football pitch, 100 metres in length and average. One football pitch in one light year fits 94 trillion, 607 billion times. It's astonishing. How about a trip from New York to Los Angeles? 3,936 kilometers. Well, guess what? That fits 2 billion, 403 million times in just one light year. Let's make it a little bit more interesting. The sun to one of the largest stars we know of, Betelgeuse. Well, actually that's more like 700 light years away. So just one light year fits just 0.0138 times. But let, look at that huge number there. That's how many kilometers away Betelgeuse is, and it's actually one of the local stars. Betelgeuse is seven quadrillion kilometers away. How about if we were to go around the world, approximately 39,000 kilometers? Well, we'd have to do it 236 million times to just get up to one light year's distance. That's 236 million times. Well, we could go a little bit further, of course. The nearest star system, Alpha Centauri, just 40 trillion kilometers away. Well, that fits 0.23 times in one light year, so not so bad then. How about the average human male at 1.76 meters? Well, if we were to stack them toe to head, we could fit five quadrillion of them in one light year. About if we was to travel from London to Liverpool, Liverpool of course champions of the Premier League this year, well we'd have to do it 33 billion times, there and back, and we're back again 33 billion times just to get to one light year's distance, 284 kilometres London to Liverpool. Or the Earth to the Moon distance, 385,000 kilometres, remember it took about three days for the Apollo teams to get there. Well, they'd have to do that 24 million times to get to one light year's distance. Remember as well, one light year isn't even remotely close to our local stars. As we saw earlier, Alpha Centauri, 4.3 light years away. How about Earth to Mars? Often we talk about Mars as colonisation from 78 million kilometres away. Well, we'd have to do it 120,000 times to reach one light year's distance. How about one astronomical unit, you might ask? 150 million kilometres? Or one Earth's sun distance? Well, one light year is approximately 63,000 astronomical units. So, quite a long way then. How about the Earth to the most distant planet, Neptune? Some 4.3 billion kilometres. Well, Earth to Neptune, you'd have to do 2,170 times. And remember that the Voyager probes took decades to get there. So we're talking about a just a gigantic distance. Finally, how about the sun to the center of the, of the galaxy? Now in terms of light years, look how small it is. 0.0000385. That's in terms of light years. Figure out how many kilometers Sagittarius A star is. At 246 quadrillion kilometers. It's just unimaginable the scale of the universe. And that's just the center of our galaxy. What about other galaxies? The figures are just unimaginable. Maybe one day we will learn how to use all this space that we've been given. Until then, we're just going to have to get used to taking our time to do things. Because at these distances, we're going to need different types of rocket propulsion, or probably even more advanced drives to get to the stars. Well done for getting this far. Don't forget that if you enjoyed this video, there are plenty of other videos on solar system colonization. For example, you might enjoy watching the video on the Venus solar shield and seeing carbon dioxide flow on the surface of Venus. Perhaps you'd like to see what's inside Jupiter, or maybe wonder why Pluto isn't a planet. Thanks for watching, and please don't forget to share or subscribe if you haven't already for more videos in the future.